As men age, their bodies go through many changes. One common change is the enlargement of the prostate gland, a condition known as benign prostatic hyperplasia, or BPH. The prostate is a small walnut-shaped gland located just below the bladder. It plays a crucial role in the male reproductive system by producing a fluid that nourishes and protects sperm. When the prostate gland enlarges, it can press on the urethra, the tube that carries urine from the bladder out of the body. This pressure can lead to a variety of urinary problems, affecting a man's quality of life. Understanding BPH is the first step towards managing its symptoms and maintaining prostate health. BPH is a common condition, affecting millions of men worldwide. While it is not cancerous, its symptoms can significantly impact a man's daily routine and overall well-being. Fortunately, there are various treatment options available, ranging from lifestyle modifications to medications and surgical interventions. Age is a primary risk factor for developing BPH. As men grow older, the prostate gland naturally tends to increase in size. This growth is thought to be related to hormonal changes that occur with age, although the exact mechanisms are not fully understood. While the prostate continues to grow throughout a man's life, it's important to note that not all men experience bothersome symptoms. Some men may have an enlarged prostate without experiencing any noticeable urinary issues. However, for many men, the enlarged prostate can lead to urinary problems that range from mild to severe. The severity of symptoms is not always directly related to the size of the prostate. Some men with slightly enlarged prostates may experience significant symptoms, while others with larger prostates may have minimal issues. Hormonal changes play a significant role in the development of BPH. Specifically, the balance between testosterone and another hormone called dihydrotestosterone, or DHT, is believed to be a key factor. Testosterone is the primary male sex hormone, while DHT is a more potent form of testosterone that's produced within the prostate gland. DHT stimulates the growth of prostate cells. As men age, the levels of DHT in the prostate tend to increase, even as testosterone levels may decline. This hormonal imbalance is thought to contribute to the excessive growth of prostate cells, leading to BPH. Understanding the role of hormones in BPH has led to the development of medications that target these hormonal pathways to shrink the prostate and relieve symptoms. BPH can manifest with a variety of urinary symptoms, ranging from mild inconveniences to more bothersome issues. Recognizing these symptoms early on is essential for seeking timely medical advice and managing the condition effectively. One of the most common symptoms of BPH is the frequent urge to urinate, both during the day and at night, known as nocturia. Men with BPH may find themselves getting up multiple times throughout the night to use the bathroom, disrupting their sleep and leading to fatigue. Other symptoms include difficulty starting the flow of urine, known as hesitancy, a weak or interrupted urine stream, straining to urinate, and a feeling of incomplete bladder emptying. These symptoms can significantly impact a man's quality of life, affecting their work, social interactions, and overall well-being. Section 5. Lifestyle Modifications for BPH Management Making certain lifestyle changes can often help manage the symptoms of BPH and improve urinary flow. These changes focus on reducing bladder irritation and promoting bladder control. While lifestyle modifications may not eliminate BPH entirely, they can significantly improve symptoms and enhance quality of life. One crucial lifestyle change is limiting fluid intake in the evening, especially before bedtime. This can help reduce nighttime urination and improve sleep quality. Another helpful tip is to avoid beverages that can irritate the bladder, such as caffeine and alcohol. Additionally, Practicing pelvic floor exercises, also known as Kegel exercises, can strengthen the muscles that control urination and improve bladder control. These exercises involve contracting and relaxing the pelvic floor muscles, similar to the action of stopping urine midstream. Section 6. Dietary Adjustments for Prostate Health in addition to lifestyle modifications, certain dietary adjustments can also play a role in managing BPH symptoms and promoting overall prostate health. A balanced and nutritious diet is essential for maintaining the well-being of the entire body, including the prostate gland. 
Some studies suggest that a diet rich in fruits, vegetables, and whole grains may be beneficial for prostate health. These foods are packed with antioxidants, vitamins, and minerals that can help protect against cell damage and inflammation. On the other hand, a diet high in saturated fat, red meat, and processed foods has been linked to an increased risk of prostate problems. These foods can contribute to inflammation in the body, which may worsen BPH symptoms. Section 7. The Role of Exercise in BPH Management Regular physical activity is not only beneficial for overall health, but can also play a role in managing BPH symptoms. Exercise can help improve blood flow, strengthen pelvic floor muscles, and promote weight management, all of which can have positive effects on prostate health. Engaging in moderate intensity exercise for at least 30 minutes most days of the week is generally recommended. This can include activities such as brisk walking, swimming, cycling, or jogging. Exercise can also help reduce stress and improve sleep quality, which can further contribute to better BPH management. It's essential to start slowly and gradually increase the intensity and duration of exercise, especially if you are not used to regular physical activity. Section 8. Medications for BPH, alpha blockers, and 5-alpha reductase inhibitors. When lifestyle changes alone are not sufficient to manage BPH symptoms, medications are often the next step in treatment. Two main classes of medications are commonly prescribed for BPH, alpha blockers, and 5-alpha reductase inhibitors. Alpha blockers work by relaxing the muscles in the prostate and bladder neck, making it easier to urinate. These medications provide relatively quick relief from symptoms, often within a few days to weeks. 5-alpha reductase inhibitors, on the other hand, work by blocking the conversion of testosterone to DHT, the hormone that stimulates prostate growth. These medications take longer to show their full effect, typically several months, but they can actually shrink the prostate over time. Section 9. Minimally Invasive Procedures for BPH In cases where medications are not effective or well-tolerated, minimally invasive procedures offer an alternative treatment option for BPH. These procedures are typically performed on an outpatient basis, using minimally invasive techniques to shrink or remove excess prostate tissue. One common minimally invasive procedure is transurethral microwave thermotherapy, or TUMT. This procedure uses microwave energy delivered through a catheter to heat and destroy excess prostate tissue. Another option is transurethral needle ablation, or TUNA, which uses radiofrequency energy to achieve a similar effect. These procedures are generally safe and well-tolerated, with minimal downtime compared to traditional surgery. They can provide significant relief from BPH symptoms and improve urinary flow. Section 10. Surgical Interventions for Enlarged Prostate In some cases, surgical intervention may be necessary to treat BPH, especially if the prostate is very large or if other treatments have not been successful. The most common surgical procedure for BPH is transurethral resection of the prostate, or TERP. TERP involves inserting a special instrument through the urethra to remove excess prostate tissue blocking the flow of urine. This procedure is highly effective in relieving BPH symptoms, but does carry a slightly higher risk of complications compared to minimally invasive options. The decision to proceed with surgery is typically made after careful consideration of the severity of symptoms, the patient's overall health, and the potential risks and benefits of the procedure. Section 11. Practical Tips for Managing BPH, a Proactive Approach Managing BPH effectively involves a proactive approach that combines lifestyle modifications, medical treatments, and regular monitoring. By taking charge of your prostate health, you can minimize symptoms and maintain a good quality of life. Schedule regular checkups with your doctor, especially if you are over 50 or have risk factors for BPH. Early detection and treatment can prevent complications and improve long-term outcomes. Stay informed about BPH, its causes, symptoms, and treatment options. Knowledge is power when it comes to managing any health condition. By staying informed and working closely with your healthcare provider, you can take control of your prostate health and live a full and active life. Remember, you are not alone and help is available.